Dan and Erlin This is songs for you Hope you're feeling happy If one show do When I saw you Dan is on the side and holding hands As I groom and bride Good afternoon to you all again, once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this very special occasion. You are here to celebrate the wedding of Elin Marie Lisbeth Salson and Daniel Alexander Wett. As two people get to know each other, they come to understand that love is so much more than a throwaway comment, much more than the verses in a Valentine card or the romance of the silver screen that love is a treasure trove of shared adventures, a gift with a value beyond measure, that love is the place where new beginnings reside, a place filled with hopes and dreams and where all things are made possible. They begin to understand that the love that is growing between them is the foundation of long-held dreams and has become the creator of their dearest memories. So me and Dan um, grew up in a little town called Bisley together. We lived a few years, uh, a few miles away from each other. Um, there's a few Bisley people in the house tonight. Shelley, make some noise. Dave Ashton Davis. Um, we knew each other from primary school and we were little tots. I was part of the cool group where there were six or seven of us who used to kick each other. Um, Dan was part of the big group with everyone else who played football and that, but they weren't. He wanted to be in our gang. Um, but I really got to know Dan in secondary school when we went to Collingwood where most of us kind of um, guys on table five, table five for life, oh yeah, where um, we met each other and became friends. One of my earliest memories of Dan um, was in The Cage. When we used to have lunch times in New Seven, we used to go in a place called The Cage. Very inviting for an 11 year old. Um, and, and being a little fat 11 year old, I you know, sat down in The Cage, terrified of everyone around me, got my Dairy Lee Lunchables out, ready to tuck in and make a little ham and cheese sandwich. Dan, being the football crazy lad he was, smashed a football and knocked my Dairy Lee Lunchables everywhere. I was distraught. Um, but the next day, he came in with a brand new pack of Dairy Lee Lunchables, which I'm sure Kim bought for him. Thank you, Kim. Lovely. Um, a, a new pack of Dairy Lee Lunchables for me. Um, and that was the first time I saw what a, a caring and thoughtful guy Dan is, that the next day he went out and made sure little fat 11-year-old Matt was happy with his Dairy Lee Lunchables. So thank you, mate. Thank you, that was fantastic. Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your root was so entwined together that you should ever part. Because this is what love is. Love is not breathlessness. It is not excitement. And it's not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any fool can do. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. And be the one on a silver platter and one. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Daniel Alexander Wetton, to witness that I, Daniel Alexander Wetton, do take thee, do take thee, Elin Marie Lisbeth Salston, Elin Marie Lisbeth Salston, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Elin Marie Lisbeth Salston, to witness that I, Elin Marie Lisbeth Salston, do take thee, Daniel Alexander Wetton, do take thee, Alexa Daniel Alexander Wetton, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. When it
it came to writing my speech, I went through many, many iterations. I went through ideas of running a quiz. Um, then I tried to come up with clever poems. Mummy taught me about poems when I was 10. Um, and I even flirted with the idea of a dance routine. I know, that comes later. Um, but one thing you've taught me is the power of being genuine. So I thought what I really wanted to do for my speech was to thank you for all the amazing memories that we've had together, to thank you in advance for all the amazing times that we'll have throughout our lives. Um, I've changed so, so much for the better since meeting you, it's ridiculous. I feel more confident in myself and I believe a lot of that is down to you. Um, thank you for being so passionate and driven all the time. It's so inspiring to be around. The fact that you single-handedly visualized and created all of this, it, I, I'm absolutely speechless. Um, to have the grit, the determination, the organization to pull it off is nothing short of incredible. We're from two very different cultures, two very different countries, but have such similar family values. Eva, Peter, Lisbeth, Philip, Jonas, Elin Starbeck, you get a second name. Um, <laughs> Uh, you've made me so well you've made me feel so welcome whenever i've been to gotland the lamb barbecues the yulhinka the smuggers gurka the gotland slimpa uh skagen the evenings in the fishing cabin in Likasham, and uh the many many times that i beat peter in the games of yahtzee that we played played Let the music play on. everybody sing and everybody dance and uh, also, like uh, what you mentioned, uh, Dan, in your speech, uh, Eileen, you are a truly inspiring person, really. Because you're so driven, humble, and so caring about all the people around you. Everyone. And the same, you, Dan. From the first time that we met you, I will speak for from the Olive Girls, you open your home and your heart as well for us. And me and Sarah is still sorry for being late to that Sunday road. People dancing all in the street. See the rhythm in the When Dan first announced that he had met a lovely Swedish girl in Mexico, there was something, let's say, soppy in his tone of voice. It was then I realized that this Swedish girl had charmed our best mate and that there was something special between them. And, it and it's clear that Eden is a perfect fit for Dan. She's kind, attractive, ambitious, passionate and intelligent and we couldn't ask for a better wife for Dan. She's also seamlessly integrated into our friendship group but to be fair, her ability to host great parties and cook incredible food was always going to go down pretty well. Before I finish, I just want to quickly play you guys a song that really means a lot to Dan. Um, it's been so important um, through our relationship for the last few years, and I'd really like if, if you guys would give me just a few minutes to play a song which, you know, I hope doesn't make too many of you cry, but I, it just mean a lot to me if I could. We both talk a lot about gratitude and how fortunate we are to have found each other. So thank you for being you. Uh, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. To everyone else, cheers. I hope you all have a fantastic evening. <laughs>